The world without Andy Dick and people like Andy Dick would suck. Comedians are the craziest motherfuckers on the planet, guaranteed, bar none. With Andy, he goes to the edge and then leaps off the cliff, you know? <laughs> when you're too messed up to be around Steve-O in 2005 to 2008, that's like a terrible sign. Andy's a haunted house of many, many rooms. He's kind of a genius. I don't want camel toe. Who's on camel toe watch? Certain rooms nobody should know about. What can I do about it? If you don't know Andy Dick's work, you, sir, do not have the internet. He has been thrown out of the Emmy Awards. He got kicked out of the Porno Awards. I mean, like, who does that? Been thrown out of the Grammys. What an asshole! Amazingly talented. Nuts. I think I'm a little bit codependent on him. He's been thrown out of three out of four bars on Hollywood Boulevard. I think he views his life as a circus. He's P.T. Barnum. But instead of clowns and trapeze artists, he has drugs and genitals. But Andy Dick <laughs> has failed on such programs as news radio. Who hasn't done crazy things on chemicals? You can't lose when you hire Andy Dick. Are you fucking with me? He had a show here, they canceled him. Why? Drunk! Drunk with an entourage of drunks, and then they brought drunks. Maybe Andy hasn't hit bottom yet? He has been accused of being gay. He's hit a lot of bottoms, but he has, hasn't hit his own. Homophobic. Andy always had a hot blonde girlfriend. I don't know what the girls got out of it. Drug addicted. Maybe a bag of coke. Some people said he says the N-word in front of N-words. Negro, you better get yourself together. If Andy Dick has a bucket list, it's an empty bucket. Everybody has an Andy Dick story. At least anybody's ever met him.